How's it going, everybody? This is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'm back again with a new episode of Tiny Home Tuesday, where on Tuesdays, I showcase a particular park model tiny home coming in at 399 square feet that we have available right here at Recreational Resort Cottages. And this Tuesday, I'm bringing to you the Ducks Unlimited exclusive Aspen Lodge. I am back again with a all new Tiny Home Tuesday. And you know when I come back, I have to come back in a very big way. Well, we are the professionals when it comes to 399 square foot park models. So you know we have to steady raise the bar. And with that said, you think you've seen it all? You ain't seen nothing yet. Because right here with the Ducks Unlimited exclusive Aspen Lodge, we are checking all the boxes for your wildest dreams. And this right here is a great home as it sits. This home is 11 feet wide, 49 feet long, including the 15 foot sky porch. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a 15 foot sky porch on this particular model. And it's coming in at a great price of 165,000. And yes, before you say Mr. Tiny done lost his mind for 165K for 399 square feet, you will see where every dollar was spent. This is not a bare bones necessity model. This is when you are wanting to live that lifestyle and have a vacation at home every day. So as you come up onto the porch, you'll see that we have a fully included outdoor kitchen on this 15 foot sky porch on the bottom level. You're going to see rock, real rock accent around the front. We have two exterior outlets here. We have the oil rub bronze space for your beverages and your glasses to hang there. Because of course, if you got a home like this, you're going to be entertaining. Whether you are an entertainer or not, you will be after purchasing this home right here. Look at the interior porch ceiling. It is stained southern yellow pine. You'll see right there, you've got that in with can lights as well. And as you make your way around this outdoor kitchen, notice that we have real granite countertops. We have real wood countertops here, again with the real rock. Everything around this uh, sky porch here on the bottom level is going to be the smart panel siding. And that right there is going to be stained. Everything is going to be cedar post, real cedar trim going all the way around. Everything is high quality. And that's what you're going to get. And that's what you're going to feel like with this home. Notice with this outdoor kitchen, what you need to go inside for. I put everything out here. you got your outdoor sink. You have your outdoor ice maker. Of course, you got beverages. You got to keep them cold. So we got the outdoor ice maker. We also have the outdoor fridge right there for your convenience, as well as the outdoor grill. The grill is going to be propane as well. So you just pop it in right there and you make yourself some nice food right here on the exterior of your tiny home. And then get a good look at this uh, rooftop here as well. This interior porch ceiling, this is a great option. And even down to the side stairs going up to the top deck. Notice that you get to utilize all of this space right here on the bottom level. So we've moved the stairs out to the side right here for you. Notice we have a landing space right there. Of course, I told you it's a Ducks Unlimited exclusive, so we got to put that imprint right there. But as you follow me up these stairs, you'll see there's no maintenance on these stairs at all. You just sit out here and you let it be. But as you follow me up, the view only gets better, ladies and gentlemen. And when you come up to the top, notice you're going to have 15 feet of upper deck space. And again, we continue this Trex decking on the top porch. And this is the great thing. You get that view, that exterior view 
right here of that copper metal roof. So that is a great option for you as well. We have the metal railing going around this upper portion of the sky porch. Notice we have solar lights going around every post of this upper level as well. And if that wasn't enough, you know I had to throw in the gun rack because if this is going to be the sky porch, hey, if you wanna have some fun, you can sit here and get your guns out and sit there and knock off some clay pigeons. That's a great option for you there. So just have some fun with your friends. Shoot a little bit and you don't even gotta go anywhere to do it. This is the best deer stand you've ever seen or the best clay stand that you've ever seen as well. Right here is a great option. And look how much space you have here that you could utilize for exterior living. This, I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, right when you think this is all there is to offer on this home. And yes, Mr. Tiny, we know who he is. We know what he does. We know he offers some great tiny homes, but all the money and everything is on the outside. That's the money shot. <laughs> We're just getting started. This is just on the exterior of the home. Now, what we will do is I'll take it inside. That way you can see for one, the quality of the home. You can hear right here when we're around this busy highway, you get some sounds here and there. So I have to talk a little louder. But with that said, let's take it down to the interior of the home so you can get that peace and serenity as soon as you go from having all your fun outdoors. And it's time to get inside, watch some TV. This is the area to do so. Follow me inside this home. Now we are on the interior of the Aspen Lodge. And ladies and gentlemen, as you see here, this is luxury tiny home living at its finest. As soon as you enter in to the French doors that you can be opened up for entertainment purposes or they can be enclosed, there's blinds and glass on each side. So when you do need your privacy and it's time to go night night, you can sit there and close the blinds and you have that privacy when you need it. Otherwise, throughout the rest of the home, you'll see here, all of the interior walls are going to be pine interior and we've even added the stained pine to the ceiling going from front to back of this home all of your interior of this home walls and ceiling are wood so that right there makes for quality and longevity as well as durability for the long haul notice all the trim around the doors windows baseboards are also going to be that stained pine as well. What I love is when you enter the living area, you have the front living room wall right here where you have the double windows down low as well as the long transom window up top. We have several can lights going throughout the home. And then the main thing that you're going to see here with this kind of scenario is the flow and the function is when it goes from the living room side, what are you gonna be sitting down looking at? You're going to be watching TV right here above your built-in LED fireplace. So that right there is going to put off some heat when you need it to. But otherwise, when you don't want to put off some heat, and it's a summer day like it is today in Texas, you can just turn it on for the light and the ambiance. Otherwise, you have your TV mounted right here in the corner. This is also included in the price as well. You get the flat screen TV. So that's included in the total price of the home. And what I love is this main wall right here goes all the way up to another transom window, bringing in the natural light. The side walls in this home are around 10 feet tall. So that is going to make this 399 square feet feel so much larger. If I mean, when you come in here, it seems like it is far from a tiny home, even though it is still 399 square feet. And notice just the functionality of the floor plan. You have your living room here, but also you have the separation from your living room to the kitchen by this elevated bar space. You see, we have these stools down below. You got your servant area here so that way you can sit, have a nice meal. If you don't want to have the meal outside, I don't know why you wouldn't unless the weather was a little inclement. Then right there, you want to bring it inside. Otherwise, look at the pendant lights. You have that sphere oil rub bronze pendant hanging down. That is a great look. And we've even kept the granite countertops going throughout the kitchen as well. What I love about this area is that yes, you have your bar space, but also speaking of bar, we know you like your coffee. After a night of 
having some drinks out on your uh, exterior porch, what do you want to do? You want to wake up. So guess what that said? You've got your coffee maker and your coffee bar built in here. You've got four cabinets down below, four drawers. We continued the granite, the real granite right here. And we've even included an upper open shelf with the pipe finish right here on, underneath. And this is a great addition and everything kind of has its own space. So that's separated here. You have its own area. And if you want to go over to the main kitchen, we got the built-in dishwasher here. Notice all of your appliances are going to be in black stainless steel right over here with the black stainless uh, farm sink as well. You've got the black finish right here on the detachable sprayer. You have the super high cabinets right in here for you. And what's so great about that, you open them up, what are they as well? Soft clothes. We wouldn't give you anything else because this is the upper echelon when it comes to tiny homes and the lifestyle. Notice we have the three open shelves there. We have the large open shelf up top and then an even larger transom window to complement the lower kitchen window. This is great if you're doing dishes. I don't know why you would with so much things going on out here that you could be doing. I'll throw them in the dishwasher, but if you just want to do it to pass some time, you can sit out here and get a great view of your property, your lake, your, your land, whatever it is, you can have that right there. Also, as we go on back, you'll see here, we have the, uh, over to the side, we have the refrigerator side by side with ice in the door. We have additional cabinetry up top. That is a great finish. Also get a good look of these real hardwood floors going from front to back of this home, real hardwood. So that way you have the durability of that as well on your entire flooring. We also have the four door pantry built in right here for your convenience. Again, the additional cabinetry up top. We've got the smooth top oven right there, the microwave up above. So plenty of space for you to utilize. Also, what I love about it is the loft. With the loft towards the rear of the home, you get all of the space up front for the taller ceilings, but then you have just this view right here. And you can see with the black pipe railing up top, you can get kind of that open flow from the loft to the lower area. As we make our own our way back, we'll come on back and see right here, right under the stairs, we have the opening for additional storage. This could easily be storage for your shoes. This could be storage for miscellaneous items. This could even be a pet nook if you didn't want to have the uh, door included here. But just in case you did, you know it's soft closed as well because that's what Mr. Tiny does and that's what we do here at Recreational Resort Cottages. Also, let's take it into the bathroom. We know after you're having fun, you know, sometimes nature calls and you got to go to the bathroom. And when that happens, this is what you get right here. Look at this luxurious bowl sink that we have here. I mean, I almost want to throw some coins in there and make a wish. <laughs> Your wishes can come true if you call Mr. Tiny. That's all I'm going to say. But with that said, we'll take it right back over here. And when you think you've seen some great tall showers on this channel, oh my goodness. Let me just slide in here. You just got, that's a requirement, by the way. You can't just step into this all willy nilly. When every time you come in, you say, Mr. Tiny taught me this. You just kind of strut in here because guess what? You have the openness right here. You have the pebble finish on the flooring. Not one feature was overlooked. Why are you gonna step on some fiberglass when you're in this home? We put the pebble flooring down low. You also have the horizontal laid tile going around. We have the rain shower head here. This gives you plenty of space for cleaning. Plenty of space. I mean, right here, easily, easily accessible. And then you even have the elevated lip there just so you don't splash out onto these beautiful hardwood floors. So that's a great option in this home. And when you think you've seen it all, you ain't seen nothing yet because I'm still showing this tiny home tour. Then when you come into the bedroom, what would you expect beside a rock accent right there for your headboard? Hey, bedrock. <laughs> you ain't got to be Fred Flintstone to put two and two together. We went ahead and put the bedrock accent right here for you. And as you see it right here, this is a queen size bed right here in this home. And notice 
the bed box down low. This is a built-in bed box that you have in here, queen size. We also have your nightstands included on each side of the home. And what would I do if I didn't cut off a couple pieces of granite and throw that on top of your nightstands as well? So that's a great option. Notice your plugs there. You have the USB ports for easy and accessible use for your cell phones. You have your long transom window up top. You get a good look of this stained pine interior ceiling right here in your bedroom. And you've got your window right here off the rear of the home. Over on this side, you're going to have your built-in closet space, your built-in dresser right there below. You have the space up top if you want to go ahead and place a TV in there as well. Notice you're going to have a double shelf and double rod uh, access right here in your closet on this side. I don't want to break anything. I know it's going to be hard, but with all this wood, real wood, right here you're going to get in this home, of course. If I, you ain't noticed already, you know I was going to do that. I had to. But this rolling barn door, you've got the real wood in there. And just when you thought that was enough and you know what I was going to do, you ain't seen nothing yet, honey. This is Mr. Tiny. This is what I do. Did I give you a gun safe built in to your closet here? Why wouldn't I? I got your gun range up top. Got, got it already included for you. So you got a place, have a place to store everything right here. And so that comes included as well. And just in case, I got an open shelf right there up above. So again, we practice security and we practice safety here at Recreational Resort Cottages. So if you're going to have some firearms, you can keep them here, store it up. So that way they're out of sight, out of mind until you need them. So that way, We've got it taken care of. So a first, an RRC exclusive, the gun safe in the bedroom closet. Now follow me back out and you'll see here, look at this loft landing right here as it goes up into the loft. Notice the piping right here that we have for your handrail, but we've also added the hardwood right there on your stair landing right there at the bottom. This just makes a great angle as you go up. Hey, whoo. You come right up, you can sit there, look, make sure if the kitties are up there in the loft, you ain't got to go all the way up. You don't have to go up the stairs to check on them. You can just look right here, keep an eye on them. But in the case that you need to go up, notice that we have the accent right here. We have the wood, the lighter wood accent on the stair tops, and then it's easy access up to the loft. Now follow me up so I can show you how much space in the loft of the Aspen Lodge that you have to utilize. And now we're in the loft of the Aspen Lodge. And as you can see right here, this is a great getaway at your getaway. So this is great for small children. This is a sleeping space when you need it. Uh, it's also a great space to utilize as a storage area. Whatever your need and convenience may be, you have the space here in the Aspen Lodge to do so. With that said, as you can see here, you can get a great look of the stained pine interior ceiling. Also, we have a lot of natural light coming in the loft area by the elongated transom, as well as the clear story windows on the opposite side. And it is already prepped with a TV jack and outlets accordingly. So if you wanna place a TV up here, this is a great area to do so. You have the extended area there in the loft, which can easily accommodate a mattress and you can have a designated sleeping space out of out of the way over there and it just offers a convenient location with all this natural light coming in we chose to add the carpet in the loft just to spice it up and add something different in this area just a little bit easier to get around keep in mind since this is a recreational vehicle coming in right under 400 square feet there is no way for us to raise this ceiling height uh, for us or myself to be able to walk around and still meet code because if we raise the ceiling height what does that do count as square footage no longer classifying this home as a recreational vehicle and that would no longer meet code to transport down the highway as well to get to your beautiful destination so before you ask that's the reason why i'm sitting down here in the loft and again it's it's easy if you need to get around uh and and as a sleeping space or a relaxation station as I like to call it, great place to utilize. But for you to walk around and, and do gymnastics, this is not the area to do so. So with that said, 
This is a great home. Let's get one more shot just so you can see the view here from the loft area down to the kitchen uh, and the living space. Just that little view there. This is a great option and a great area that's actually very, very convenient as well as private uh, and open at the same time. I know it's weird to say that, but it really is. You have to come see this in person to really cherish this loft space in the Aspen Lodge. And with that said, I hope that you enjoyed this video right here as much as I enjoyed showcasing it to you today. With this Aspen Lodge, this is checking all the boxes for plenty of people that are looking for that area to downsize and have as a recreational getaway. This is one of those ones. Ladies, if you've been trying to talk your husband into downsizing into a tiny home, this may be the video to show him. I'm just you're throwing you a hint but you can kind of this may not be the one that y'all want or you want specifically but this is a great one to get his feet wet because it's got everything from the from the gun safe uh to the clay uh sky deck where you can shoot the clay pigeons up top you've got that your outdoor kitchen this is a great option this is checking so many boxes and i'm very happy to be able to showcase this home to you today exclusively through Ducks Unlimited. This is a great feature here, a great 399 square foot park model. And if you enjoyed this video tour, let me know right now by hitting that thumbs up. That thumbs up does a lot for the video as well as our company by spreading the word to others and putting us in the algorithm to get more and more of our videos out there so I can continue to produce these great tiny home videos for you. And while you're at it, let me know what your favorite feature of the Aspen Lodge was today. Was it the, the sky porch outside? Was it the pebble floored tile shower? Was it the gun safe? What was it? You let me know down in the comments so that way we can keep and continue bringing items and houses like this to the channel. Also hit that subscribe button so that way you're part of the family. And if you wanna contact me today about this beautiful home or hundreds of others, you know what to do. Run on over to Instagram right now at the Mr. Tiny at T H E M R T I N Y. And you can connect with I anytime. I'm selling the Aspen Lodge as well as hundreds of other models directly off of my Instagram. You can contact me day or night and I'll make sure that price is right. And until next time, my name is Mike, Mr. Tiny Timmons, and I'll see you next Tiny Home Tuesdays.